by Faith Legacy has been made possible by the Faith Legacy Ministry. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord, and they will be in heaven. And uh, some days I'm looking really forward to that. <laughs> Welcome to my faith legacy. This is uh, Grandpa, Opa, and uh, Papa, and uh, Dad uh, wish welcoming you to this faith legacy. And uh, uh, anyone that would see this, and I would hope all of my children and my grandchildren would see it. And uh, I would pray, especially for those that may not know the Lord, would come to know him through just uh, me telling them about what God has done in my own life and hope my life, uh, that what they've seen of it, it bears that out. When we were on the farm, you know, my brother and I were out in the field on a nice, clear day and we just got to talking like a 10 and 13 year old boy would do. And we said, well, we can see where the eggs and the chickens come from now. Where did the first one come from? We were quite excited about that and wanted to know. And uh, so we never thought about it. But you know, somebody heard us that day. God heard two boys talking. And he led both of our lives. So we came to the place where we come to know him as Lord and Savior in our lives. And uh, it was a, a journey quite a journey, but it was uh, not always a smooth journey, but uh, he was with us all the way. When uh, I had gone in service, I wanted to be airplane mechanic, and uh, they lost all my papers, so I had to take the test all over again, and then uh, the school was filled, so I ended up in Chicago. And the fellow that I came to Chicago with me had uh, Dr. Ironside spoke at his commencement exercise. And so we started looking for a church, and here we found it, Moody Church, Dr. Ironside. So that's where we went the first Sunday. And after we attended there several times, we on a beautiful October day, we took a walk through the park, and that's where I met a lady that became my wife eventually. And uh, it was a few weeks later, she introduced me to her mother at the church, and she asked if I was, my buddy and I, if we were Christians, and I says, uh, he said he was, and I said, well, I don't know. She says, well, you're not, or you know it. And uh, so then she went and got the Gospel of John from the information desk and gave that to me. And it was actually through reading uh, John, chapter, uh, you know, Gospel of John, that I really ne realized that I wasn't the good guy that I thought I was. Uh, we had been taught all the principles of Christian living, but had never been, uh, in, uh, you know, read the Bible since so much to us, although we did attend church now and then. And uh, we walked the two miles sometimes to go there. And, uh, but it was through reading the word that I realized that uh, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And it's, uh, and uh, he sent his son to die for us on a cross. And I needed a savior. So one night I knelt on my bunk out in Nebraska and asked the Lord to come into my life and change it. And he's been changing it ever since. This is why it's important for you, my grandchildren and children, to realize you know Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you need to share that because there's one person sometime can make a big difference in a person's life, and they'll can know the Lord. And uh, it's uh, nothing like it. It's a great life. I think evangelism is... I'm not much one to collar someone and, and do that. I try to lead by example as much, uh, and that's been my cry for the Lord all the time, is that my life show, should show Christ to others. And then if they inquire, then I can explain why the, the faith that I have and what uh, causes me to be as I am. The church is very important in your life because uh, this is where you connect with other people uh, of like-minded faith and uh, you uh, grow by uh, talking to other people and working with other people. You have opportunity to teach other people what the Lord has done in your life and uh, he can do it for others as well. And 
It's just a, a great, great thing. I, I remember when I was first asked to teach Sunday school, and I was just a, a fairly new Christian, and I said, I can't teach junior boys. They know more than I do. And they said, well, we have a Bible class that will teach you the Bible. So I took that for two years, or Sunday for two years, and uh, that's where I really started to grow, and then I started teaching, and, and uh, it's just... Uh, amazing when you depend on the Lord how he, he grows you, you grow through him and if there's difficulty in your life uh, you pray about those matters and uh, sometimes he doesn't change the situation but he changed your own heart so that you can live a life for him in the meantime John would you like to come up and do one verse by yourself since we're <laughs> But you know, when you stop and look back over your life, how God directed you in different things, it just boggles the mind. I couldn't go in my own way. I had to go his way. There are some things I did wrong, naturally. There's uh, the guy that never made a mistake, never did anything. Well, I like all the scriptures, but I'm one that has never been real good at memorizing scripture. And uh, somebody starts quoting it, I can quote it right along with them. But I find a chapter and verse, it's very difficult for me to do, especially at this age anymore. And uh, it's, uh, but it, it's, it's alive. The word is alive. And our Lord is alive. And uh, it's just, it's tremendous. God is love, and that's where our love comes from. And uh, there's all different kinds of love, but uh, agape love is the love in the Lord and uh, really uh, knowing Him and so that we can love others. I had two wives. The first wife died at 62 years old, and uh, it was a great sorrow. But uh, you know the Lord was able and lifted me up above that. And I found out if I got day when I feel like I was going to be melancholy or something, I'd go do something for someone else. And it was that way when after my second wife passed away too. And, and uh, that, by that time I was retired and uh, the day that I thought I was going might be feeling sorry for myself, because that's actually what it is. We're just being sorry for ourselves. We're not sorry for our wives because they're in a better place here with the Lord. And uh, it's just, uh, we, by helping other people, it makes all the difference in the world. And then people praying for you and carrying you through these times of sorrow, there's, there's nothing like it. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say that, well, I can't wait to heaven to see my husband, see my wife, and this thing. I think when we get to heaven and see Christ, he is the one that's going to be draw our attention. We'll be, uh, see him glorified, and that's, I think that's uh, really going to draw our attention, because it says in the Bible, there'll be either marriage or uh, giving of marriage in, in heaven. And uh, so it, it's going to be a different life. The Lord says, all that come unto me, I will uh, come to me, will, I will give them, I have died for them. Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. And uh, he says that he would, uh, that we would be with him in heaven. Those that you have given me, no one can take them away. They were in, our names are written in Lamb Book of Life. Then we will be going, uh, be with the Lord. And uh, that is the thing that's uh, important to me. And uh, we want to make sure our name is written in that Lamb's Book of Life. Well, 
I think the main thing I would want them to know is be, get in a good Bible-believing church and uh, really learn the Word of God. And uh, that would be my prayer. I'm here at Moody uh, Church where I've uh, spent 60 some odd years building up my faith and uh, getting to know more about Christ and worshiping Him and fellowshipping with like believers and uh, a place where we saw many people come to know Christ. And this is uh, my prayer for you that uh, you will come to that place in your life where you will come to know Christ, to forget, ask forgiveness in your sins and be saved and I'll meet you someday here in heaven. I love you all. Bring these when you come. I haven't found them here in heaven yet. Uh, thank you very much. For my memorial, I, any donations that are giving to that go through the Moody Faith Legacy Ministry. Thank you.